My motto is a healthy inside starts from the outside and that goes both ways. So if you're healthy on the inside, it will literally shine through. You don't need to spend a lot of money on lotions and potions to get the perfect skin and glossy hair. You just need a healthy diet. And in this video, I'm going to show you the foods you should include in your diet to get that. Hi, my name is Sorsa. I'm a nutritionist and healthy lifestyle blogger from Ireland. And on this channel, I help make healthy living simple because it doesn't have to be complicated. Like I said on this video, I'm going to teach you how you can use nutrition to get healthy skin, nails and hair. Very often, nutrient deficiencies manifest outwardly. So we can see them in our hair, our skin, our nails, uh, maybe our stomach. Like We might get upset stomachs a lot more because of a nutrient deficiency. One sign that you're deficient in calcium, for example, is that you have brittle nails and that you have little white marks on your nails. Obviously, also another sign of calcium deficiency is brittle bones, but like we can't see our bones until we actually break them. Then we might find out from x-ray, but you can see your nails. So that's one way of knowing you need more calcium in your diet. Then, of course, there's hair loss and hair thinning. It can be caused by so many things, not just nutrient deficiencies. Hormonal changes. Sometimes pregnant women find that their hair gets thinner when they're pregnant and some find that their hair actually gets more healthier when they're pregnant. And then, of course, there's medications, radiation therapy. Stress is a big thing for hair loss. You, like That saying, my hair is falling out from stress, it's not just a saying that actually can happen. Then, of course, there is nutrient deficiencies, which we're going to go through today. Then there's your skin. So things like acne, premature aging, wrinkles, and just general dullness about your skin, that can be caused by nutrient deficiencies or just an unbalanced diet that doesn't have a lot of variety in it. It can also be caused by hormonal things, especially the acne side of it but you can tweak these things by tweaking your diet so we're also going to go through that as well first nutrient and foods we're going to look at is protein protein is so important for any structural thing so your hair your nails your skin because that's basically what we're made of we're made of protein specifically a protein called keratin now eggs are great because eggs contain protein and they also contain biotin, which is a B vitamin that helps make keratin. Uh, one large egg contains about 6.8 grams of protein and uh, then 15 micrograms of biotin. Now, obviously, there's other protein foods you could eat. There's uh, oily fish as well, which is also great because omega-3 is super important for healthy skin and healthy nails and healthy hair. So you're kind of getting a double whammy there because you're getting the omega-3 in. Then there's your plant sources of protein. So your beans, your uh, nuts, your seeds, your tofu. Just getting enough protein is important for your healthy skin, healthy hair and healthy nails. Now antioxidants. Antioxidants are so important for health in general. They fight these things called free radicals, which cause oxidation, which is, plays a major role in premature aging and a lot of chronic illnesses. The way to get your antioxidants is to eat your fruit and vegetables. No two ways about it. That's where you get them. You get them from plant foods, especially brightly colored foods. So that's saying eat a rainbow or eat the rainbow. Eat as many different colored fruit and vegetables as you can because each color has a specific health benefit as well. You also need vitamin C because vitamin C, as well as helping with your immune system, it will help with uh, brain fog. It helps make collagen. <laughs> it helps make collagen, and collagen is part of like your 
it tests you that makes you basically. So if you have enough collagen, your bones will be healthy, your skin will be healthy, your hair, your nails. So that's why fruit and vegetables are so important. Like they're full of all those important vitamins and minerals that you need. So just try to get them in there. Look, this whole five to seven portions, if that's too daunting for you, if you literally don't eat any fruit and vegetables, forget about it. If you manage to eat one carrot and you never eat carrots, that's, that's great. Just build on it. Try and get foods that maybe hide the fruit and vegetables if you just don't like the texture or taste. As well as that, you can change the texture of fruit and vegetables by the way you cook them, by the way you prepare them. You just need to try them. That's, that's all you need to do. If you try something at least three times and you still don't like it, then forget about it. You don't like it. I hate beetroot. I've tried beetroot. I don't like it. I've tried it three times. I've tried it more than three times because I want to like it because I know how good it is for me, but I just don't like it. And that's okay because there's loads of other fruit and vegetables out there that are just as good. Then you've got probiotic foods. So you want to get enough healthy gut bacteria. I know I say it a lot, but basically if you have a healthy gut, it will show through on your skin. It will show through. You'll have healthier, stronger hair. Your immune system will be stronger. You won't get as much infections. You'll just feel all over better. So increasing your fiber intake will help increase your good gut bacteria. Try and get in some of them fermented foods. So yogurt with natural, like natural yogurt, not sugar yogurt. <laughs> um, certain cheeses as well if you like cheese <laughs> and then there's like kefir kombucha sauerkraut those kind of things pickles anything that has fermented that's great make sure you're getting enough iron in your diet you do get iron from things like red meat and offal and that kind of thing but you could also get it from leafy green vegetables so spinach broccoli that kind of thing you need iron for your blood cells for Otherwise, you're going to end up getting anemia and that's not good because it makes you feel terrible and it will make your skin look really, really pale and drawn. Iron is also really important for young girls who are menstruating because you're losing iron when you have your period. So you need to make sure you're getting enough iron in your diet. If you need to take a supplement, then you'll need to take a supplement, but it is better to try to get it through your food. Drinking enough water is so important for your skin. People talk about detoxing, and obviously if you watched my diet and detox myth busting video, you know that that is a myth. Your body detoxes itself. So your kidneys, your liver, your intestines, it, it all detoxes itself. But yes, there is things you can do to help. So drinking water is one, because it obviously flushes out your kidneys, which also work. To detox you so if you drink enough water like plain water that will help with clear skin and it will help clear out your body of any toxins that might cause breakouts or that kind of thing so drinking enough water is super important plus like your body's 60 percent water so you need to drink water you can't survive without water i think you can survive without food for a few weeks you can't survive without water for more than three days. So that just shows you how important it is. You should be drinking at least 1,200 mils, that's 1.2 liters, or two liters of water a day, minimum. And then if you exercise or if the weather's warm, you should be drinking more. Now I've talked about what you should try and add into your diet. A few things that you should maybe think about trying to cut back on a little bit. Sugar is one. Sugar causes premature aging. It causes this thing called rytides, which is where your skin loses its elasticity and causes like saggy wrinkles. So if you have a lot of sugar in your diet, you might find that. Also, it can cause breakouts, acne breakouts. If you tend to get a lot of breakouts, you might want to look at how much sugar you're consuming. So things like fizzy drinks, cakes, buns, sweets those kind of sugar foods. Try to like cut back just a little bit. 
Now I'm going to talk about dairy. Dairy is a great source of calcium, which is really important. But unfortunately, sometimes dairy can affect people and it can cause acne breakouts and other things. So if you do find that, you might want to try, like experiment, cut out dairy for a few weeks and see if it helps clear out your, up your skin. It doesn't mean you have to completely go off it if you love your milk and your cheese, don't worry. Unless you're lactose intolerant, like might be a good idea to think about it then. But there are other sources of calcium rich foods. So you should really make sure you don't just cut out dairy completely and not replace it. You must replace it with calcium rich foods. You get calcium from green leafy veg. You get calcium from canned fish. You get calcium from uh, tofu that has calcium, calcium set tofu. So there are other sources of calcium that you can replace dairy with. And then you might find that your skin is a lot better without dairy. If you'd like more personalized nutrition advice, be sure to hit the link in the description box below where you can avail of a free 45 minute nutrition consultation with me over Zoom. We can talk about your nutrition goals and see what we can do to help make you feel healthier and happier. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and I hope it helps you have more healthy skin, hair and nails. If it did, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and please let me know in the comments if you tried any of these things and found that they help improve your skin or your hair or your nails.